Uh, Assalamu alaikum everyone. This is Sultana Hafiz Rumi, your physics teacher. Hope you all are doing well. Hope you are sound and safe. Uh, welcome to the online class of physics grade 7. Today's session is uh, based on exam syllabus and a brief discussion on revision worksheet. You can collect the worksheet from the school or you can contact me. Now let's have a look at the syllabus. It includes chapter 10, 11, 12 and 14. Okay, now let me tell you about chapter 14. Unfortunately, you could not complete this chapter. So, from this chapter, you will have resisting forces, methods of reducing friction, and stopping distance. Now, from chapter 10, you have specific latent heat. Uh, you have learned about specific latent heat for both uh, fusion and vaporization. So, you have to learn both the definitions. Okay, then you have to use the formula e equals to ml to find uh, the energy for melting and boiling. So, to do this, if you practice the questions 4 and 7, it will help you to a great deal from your textbook. Okay, from chapter 11, you have to learn the forces, their directions, difference between uh, mass and weight. And uh, you have to use the formula W equals to mg to find the weight and weight varies from place to place you know it. So, therefore, uh, G will have a different value on moon and earth. We, are, uh, we have done this uh, sums in the class for moon and earth. So, you just practice those. Okay. Now, from chapter 12, you have to learn Hooke's law and you have to plot the graph showing the relationship between force and extension. Uh, from this chapter, you also learnt about inertia. You will have MCQ regarding these topics, uh, Newton's first law of motion and centripetal force. So, uh, clear remembering these topics in mind, you have to go through the chapters, you will have creative questions regarding this. And while you are doing any sum using the formulas, please write the formula first, substitute the values and when you find the answer, write them down including the units because units are very important most of you skip it so be careful and from chapter 13 you will have methods of measuring density to find their authenticity uh, authenticity you already have done this in the class so follow your classwork notebook and your homework notebook here you have to use the formula rho equals to mass by volume is density equals to mass by volume to find the density okay now, you also have to go through all the definitions from the chapters and remember one thing, since you, are, how you will have creative questions, you have to actually read the chapters thoroughly for everything. I have uploaded worksheet to the, uh, to the uh, school uh, page, so you can collect the worksheet from there. Now, we will be doing two questions from the worksheet that I thought would be difficult for you, one of which is Question 5 from the worksheet, I would like to show it to you. So, have a look at the question from the worksheet. This is the question, if you can see it. Okay, this question is related to stopping distance. Can you, okay. Now, let me draw it on the board. Okay. On the y axis you have distance that is stopping distance, distance in meter and on the x axis you have speed of the car, speed of the car. Okay. So, this is a histogram and you can see the bars. Okay. I am not drawing all the bars, I so just I will just pick few. So, 20, 30, 40 and this is 50 and you have up to 70. So, if this is thinking distance, this would be a breaking distance, thinking, breaking, thinking, breaking, thinking and breaking. So, let me put a color so that you can understand it clearly. Okay. So, the black one is thinking distance and the white one is breaking distance. So, the first question asked you 
Complete the equation to show the link between stopping distance, thinking distance and breaking distance. So, for answer of A, stopping distance equals to thinking distance plus breaking distance. All right, so let's move to B. It says describe the pattern shown in the graph. Okay, now if you see clearly at the graph, you'll see, okay, 20, 40, uh, 60s, probably not to the scale. Okay, 20, 40, okay, see, when the speed of the car was 20 meter per second, uh, 20 miles per hour or what the unit it is given in then when it is at 30 40 50 the when the speed of the car increases the distance will keep on increasing okay so from this graph we can see we can say that uh, when speed of the car increases the speed Sorry, the distance will also increase. Okay, now number C, use the graph to estimate the stopping distance for a car traveling at 30 mile per hour. So, 30 mile. 35 miles, sorry, 35 mile might be somewhere here. So draw a line from here and it might be, so since they asked you to estimate, it might be here. Then draw a horizontal line and connect it with the vertical axis. So the intersecting point should be the, uh, should be the value of distance for the speed of 35 miles per hour. So you can find it according to your graph. Okay. Now number D, to find the minimum stopping distance, several different cars were tested. Suggest how the data from the different cars should be used to give the values in the graph. So since they have asked you for the minimum stopping distance, to have a minimum stopping distance, the car must have the minimum speed. So in that case, you will write the car should have minimum dis minimum speed that's it all right now number e the test were carried out on a dry road if the road is icy friction reduced describe and explain what changes there would be if any to the thinking distance okay now thinking distance actually depends on the driver so uh, here they are saying that the condition of the road has changed therefore there would be no change there would be, be no effect on the thinking distance. So answer of E would be thinking distance would remain same. Thinking distance would remain same. Okay. Now number F, okay this was E1, it is E2, All right. the braking distance, now look at the graph, the braking distance, see the condition of the road is changed, okay now they are saying it is a, it is an icy road now, so, so when it was a dry road the friction was more, when it is icy road the friction gets reduced. So the braking distance of the car depends on the condition of the road, uh, uh, the weather, okay, the condition of the car. So since the condition of the road is changed, so the braking distance will increase. So the braking distance will increase. You have to give a reason for this. This is because 
because the friction of the road is now reduced all right so that was all about question number 5 okay i would like to solve this question for you now okay okay now question 7 from your worksheet it is based on uh, specific latent heat they have asked you to find the energy to melt 2 kg of ice okay we know that energy equals to mass into latent heat okay this l would be latent heat of fusion since we are melting here so the mass given was 2 kg and we know latent heat of fusion is 34 into 10 to the power 4 okay so we get 680000 joules okay follow the steps i have written the formula then i have su uh, substituted the values and i have got the answer i have to write the unit with that okay now okay now i'm not doing b1 because b1 is theoretical you have to answer it on your own now b2 they have asked you to find the density and check the authenticity of a, an object okay a woman actually finds a golden bar at a market she needs to find the density to check whether it was original gold or not so for that we have to find the density density equals to mass by volume the given mass was 550 g okay and the volume was 50 cubic centimeter okay so the answer we get is 11 g per centimeter cube so the actual density of gold is actually 19 g per centimeter cube since we have got a wrong value we can say that it was not gold so they have asked you to make a comment so what the comment would be since the value does not match with the real density value density of gold it is or the bar the bar she found was not gold all right that was question 7 from the worksheet so i will suggest you to go through all the questions given in the worksheet it is very very important that you solve it and while doing it if you face any problem you can call me inshallah i'll try to help you as much as possible okay that's all for today thank you very much for being with us with me uh, hope we'll be meeting very soon thank you stay home and stay safe